For this video tutorial, I'm going to give you a basic walkthrough of how to integrate your Twitter account into your Google site through an RSS feed. So, as you can see here, I'm in my Google site already, and I've created a page labeled RSS feed. This is where I'm going to lay in my Twitter account feed. So, the first thing you need to do is go up to the right side, top right corner of the screen, under Edit Page, and you're going to click on that. Okay, once this page is loaded, you're going to have a few more options. Uh, the first thing you need to do is you need to go up to the top left corner under the word Google Sites under Insert. And once you click on Insert, a drop down menu is going to appear. You're going to go to the very bottom of this page and you're going to click on the word More Gadgets. Once you click on that, a small pop out window appears. In the search engine right here next to the word Search, you're going to type in the letters RSS and hit Enter on your keyboard. Once you've done this, you're going to click on the very first option under RSS Reader Plus. Once you click on that, a small window appears quickly, and you're going to click on the word Select in the very center of the screen. Now, once you've done this, a small window appears that says Set Up Your Gadget. This is a menu that's going to give you a lot of freedom and resources to tweak your RSS feed once you've laid it into your Google site. However, the first thing we need to do is under the word RSS feed, all the way to the very far right, there's going to be a, uh, a URL already typed in that says Google Blog. You can go ahead and double click on that and you can just delete everything that's in that. Now, once you've deleted that, you need to go ahead and go to your Twitter account page, which I have already opened up. You're going to go to that, and here's mine here. As you can see, I have quite a few tweets already on here. On the very far right side of the screen, under RSS feed, of and whatever your Twitter account name is, it'll say RSS feed of Cody House's tweets. You're going to click on that. There's a little orange RSS feed logo there on the right. Now, this is what your screen should look like. Again, mine has more tweets than yours probably has already. So don't worry about that. That's not what we're concerned about right now. And across the top of the screen, on the URL, you need to copy and paste that. So you can highlight it and you can either right click, go down to copy, you can highlight it, go to edit copy and then after you've copied that URL you're gonna go back to your RSS feed page on your Google site and if you've done it correctly your RSS feed box should still be highlighted you can right click on that and click paste you want to paste that URL from your Twitter account into there or you can go up to edit paste as long as you have that right area highlighted so the next thing you're gonna do is you can come down here and you can click OK and then once you've clicked OK you need to make sure you come up to the top right corner and click save. That is very important. You need to always save. Now, as you can see here in the middle of my screen, um, my tweets have appeared. They're very small, however. So, you can go back up to edit page. Once you've done that, you can click on the Google gadget. And under properties, this is again, this is the same screen that you had before. And you can go through and you can edit you can edit the number of items that are in here so I'm gonna put four items I'm gonna do font size I recommend around a 10 or 11 font I'm gonna do a bullet before and then under height I'm gonna take this up to 200 pixels I'm gonna add a scroll bar as well and I'm gonna click OK and then again I'm gonna click on save up here and there you go you can see the tweets from my Twitter account now log through a Google site.